Hey, it's Fruit Kid 101 here. I'm going to show you how to make a breadboard, um, breadboard USB iPod charger or anything else that's USB charged. Um, you can actually solder this together. It's just I didn't want to for the sake of convenience. Anyway, um, it's plugged into a uh, using a DC supply, it's plugged into an actual outlet as opposed to batteries because that makes the whole circuit a lot simpler. Um, you don't need to have a uh, boost circuit or IC or anything. So, down to the basics, here's what you're going to need. Breadboard for prototyping. You're going to need a uh, 5 volt plug. Um, this came from an old cell phone. I'm pretty sure you guys have all had old cell phones. Make sure it says 5 volts, which mine does somewhere down there. Anyway, I chopped off the end and I put two headers in, I soldered two headers to the uh, positive and negative output so that it can actually plug into a breadboard very easily. I'm going to need a USB female type A port. Um, I again soldered pin headers to it so that it plugs in very easily. You're also going to need an indicator LED. Uh, well, you don't need it. It's just for show. I like indicator LEDs. And I also soldered... That's bad soldering right there. Don't ever solder like that. I soldered a 10K resistor to it to make it easier. Um, 10K resistor is brown, black, orange. Next, you're going to need a couple pieces of jumper wire. I just have two. That's just for... Yeah, you get the point. You'll see you later. And you're going to need two... Um, 100k ohm resistors. These are color-coded brown, black, yellow. So, down to the basics. We have our breadboard here, and I'm going to show you that all, well, this is actually just basic stuff. All the, um, all the rows lined up here are connected. All the buses. They don't connect this way, you know, they connect this way. Cross, just like that. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off with our USB. And I soldered pin headers, like I said, to make it plug in easier. So, you're just going to put it at the bottom. Well, you can actually put it wherever you want, but I just put it at the bottom. And then, you're going to take your power supply, which is your DC barrel jack. And you're going to plug it in the other side, make, making sure that the negative is on the bottom, the most bottom. So we're going to plug that in. It'll look just like that. Right? So this is the negative side with a black wire and the positive side with no wire. And then this is what we're going to do. We're going to take our jumper wire, one of these guys, and we're just going to... Um, actually, let's use this jumper wire. This jumper wire is better. It's smaller. We're going to connect this bus, the negative side, to the negative side of our USB. So that will go in right here. And the nice thing about breadboards is they just plug in, just like that. So it'll look like this. It goes from here, nee, 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 jumps over with the jumper wire, and goes down to the USB. All right. next, what we are going to do is we're going to take our indicator LED with our resistor on it, and we're going to plug the negative side, which is marked by the flat spot right over here. There's also, I put my uh, resistor there. We're going to put the negative side uh, in the negative terminal and also connect that across to the positive side. And what this is going to do is, I'm just going to plug that in. What this does is it'll tell us when it's on, when the uh, USB is plugged. All right. Next, we have one of our 100K resistors. I'm going to zoom in more. 100K resistors. We are going to take this from the positive bus, and we're going to plug that, uh, use it as a jumper wire, and plug it into our USB pin 3. All right, and then we're going to take our other 100K resistor, and plug it into pin 2 of the USB and also coming from the positive 5 volts. And now we have resistors, um, the two 
100Ks. That's for the data lines. Um, the data lines to tell the iPod that it's okay to draw power from the source. And finally, the last step of our circuit is the jumper wire, taking our positive 5 volts coming from the DC and plugging that into pin 1 of the USB. And this is the actual power that will charge our USB. So that plugs in. So this is what our circuit looks like. Pretty simple. USB, couple of resistors and jumpers. That's blurry. USB, couple of jumpers and resistors. Indicator LED and 5 volt power supply coming from our DC. I think this is DC. Yeah, whatever. Coming from our phone plug, which used to charge our phones. And so now we're going to test. We are going to plug it in to the wall. And the indicator light pops on. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug our iPod USB in there. Run it down the cord. And plug our iPod in. And it's charging. What do you know? You can zoom in here. It has a charging icon. Wait. Which isn't popping up very well. But it is charging. And the battery symbol comes on. So that is how you do it. We have our iPod charging out of our breadboard little power supply, which gets its power from the wall, which is over there, somewhere, wall, wall, say hi wall. Now you'd uh, spend normally 30 bucks buying one of these from the Apple store, but you have spent practically nothing.